Thanks, Steve. State Fair continues. Okay, this is going to be a bridge from one to the other because, um, well, I hesitate to admit this, but I actually saw Selena Gomez at the Illinois State Fair uh, just a few years ago. Uh, Front Row Phyllis is on the phone line. I don't know. Do you have any Selena Gomez tickets available for me? I would love that. She's not going to be here this year. I'm sorry. Not yet. (laughs) I went a few years ago when my daughter was of Selena Gomez age, and um, so we started down there. Uh, the the highlight was the meat parfait where you could get different types of barbecue meat with mashed potatoes in between them served in a cup. That was my favorite part of the Illinois State Fair. <laughs> I think your daughter would probably have a little different yeah. idea. Her memories right? are different. Hey, you know, she was yeah. picking up people involved in the Coldplay concert last night. I know they were in town. Um, yes. What's big this weekend? So this weekend, we actually tonight at Petty LaBelle is going to be over at the venue at Horseshoe Casino. You know, she is one of the best voices of all time, the godmother of soul. Plus, she's also an amazing um, writer. She has written five best-selling cookbooks. No kidding. As well as, yeah, isn't that interesting? And she's an amazing cook herself, too. So, you know, go figure. And she also has a successful line of food products. But um, like I said, she's going to be over at the venue at the Horseshoe Casino which is not far from the city, and it's really a great, great place to see her. So that's tonight. And then tomorrow, if you like country, big country show, and that's over at the um, Hollywood Casino Amphitheater, and it's Lady Antebellum along with Kelsey Ballerini and Brett Young. Uh, Now, so So, I was a big, you know, Lady Antebellum really hit it a few years ago. Um, Yeah. Just became megastars, and I was actually just thinking of them a couple of weeks ago. Have they had much of a follow-up? I mean, are they still touring on that, or have they had new stuff come out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They have um, They have a new album out. They've sold, you know, these are guys that I remember when they started, they actually were living out of their car. Wow. So, you know, they've come a long way from that. They now, you know, fly on private jets, and they have sold over, you know, 10 million albums. And um, they actually also are bringing Kelsey Ballerini is what they're calling her. She's an amazing country artist, and they're calling her the next queen of um, country. So definitely want to check this one out for tomorrow night. You know, everyone's talking about Monday and the eclipse, and I see that you've got an eclipse festival written down here. What's that about? So if there's going to be a festival, we're just going to call everything a festival, right? (laughs) Right. (laughs) I think so. So there's an eclipse festival, and that's what they are calling it, the Chicago Eclipse Festival, viewing activities, food trucks, and free admission over at the Adler Planetarium, which is actually a great place to see this. So, you know, the eclipse, I guess, in Chicago um, is going to be between 11.54 a.m. to 2.52 p.m., and it peaks at about 87% coverage at 1.19 p.m. I'm still trying to so. figure out a way to charge people to look at the eclipse. I haven't come up with it yet, but that would be a real... You that haven't? Would, that would be a real your money story once we get that. Yeah, definitely. All right, Front yep. Row Phyllis, where do people find more information? Just go to frontrowphyllis.com. All right, appreciate it. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. You're listening to the Wintrust Business Lunch on 720 WGN. Mm-hmm.